Hi everyone, it's Luis again. Listen, today I'm making a video on Paphiopetalums. And what I want to discuss is, I want to discuss sunburn, I want to discuss pests, I want to describe my semi-hydroponic growing method on them, overpotting and potting media. So we're going to start with um, sunburn or heat stress. Uh, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I removed my shade cloth um, a few weeks ago. I'm in the greenhouse and you got a lot of sun. And this are, these are examples of my worst papipellums that got uh, sun damage. So what I'm going to point out is that all these right here, they have been exposed to more sun than normal. So I want to start with this one. What I want to point out is that uh, sunburn on these plants look like bleached out color. For example, there is this one right here. You see how it's yellowing, bleaching, it looks whitish. That's signs of sunburn. Look at this one. This one you could see that it's been bleached out. So that's a sign of sunburn. I'm going to point it out on this one. See how the leaves are not dark green? They're yellowish compared to these in the top. They're, the ones in the top are a lot greener versus these ones that are bleached out by the sun. So the typical color for most of these should be like this. See how healthy that is? Now, look at this one. This one's looking sad. And the leaves, this is an old leaf, so don't worry about that one. But just the texture of it, it looks kind of ashy. And it looks beat down by the sun. So we don't want that. And I also want to point it out on this one, because this is a strap leaf paphipellum. And... Um, see how the pattern it's almost checkered and it's yellowish so that's uh, an example of sunburn on paphiopetalums so what i want to point out is that these three out of the four that i just showed you well i showed you more but we're going to go with these these are potted in my what i consider my semi-hydroponic method and I'm going to go into it so that you can see what I mean. My semi-hydroponic method is just one of these tall containers. And basically what it is, is a container that I got from the Vietnamese restaurant. When I ordered my pho, this is what it comes with. And I decided to save them so that I can pop my paphiopetalums. And uh, the holes are at least half an inch to an inch off the bottom. It's filled with media. And uh, every time you water it, the water will come out through there. So it's never overwatered and it's never dry. So that's a safe mechanism for your, for your orchids. Now the issue was with me is that I planted my paphipetalums in my semi-hydroponic method and um, I started seeing not good results. So what I did, I started making little holes on the side to make uh, ventilation holes so that the plant can breathe because it was not breathing. So. Oh, before I forget, I want to point out those right here. That's a caterpillar uh, eating it. So I killed it and it's gone. So if you see holes like that, it's usually a caterpillar. Okay, let's move on. So when you do the semi-hydroponic method and, and it's not working for you, 
it's good to put these holes on to allow for ventilation. Now, sometimes it doesn't work because your plant is still may, uh, being overrun with um, water and moisture that it tends to root, rot the roots. So, I toppled these two from the greenhouse and you can see how this one was in this pot and I potted it to this, but I accidentally I knocked it out. But I'm taking the chance or the opportunity to show you that these roots do not look very healthy. They look dry and they look just bleh, not good. So could it be that I'm still over potting it even though it's not in the semi-hydroponic method? Maybe. But I'm thinking of downsizing this to a smaller pot. Now on this one, what I did, I did the, the, I potted into a smaller pot, and you're gonna see that the roots are much better, and they're healthier. You're gonna see light brown with the little hairs on it, and even the root tip, you can see how healthy that is. So this is what we want. And this is one that I toppled over, and I checked it um, at uh, right here, 520. That was in May. So that's in May. It's doing better. So after I did several repottings, I found out that they were getting, uh, the roots were still getting rotted. So as you can see, this is an example of another semi-hydroponic method that I had. And after I started seeing problems, I started making all these holes. But it still didn't work because I repotted some of my orchids and uh, they were, they had rotted roots. So what happens with that is that usually the plant is going to look like it's not growing at all. It's just like, it's stalling for some reason. So what I did, this is an example of how I had it before. You can see how so much it was over potted because after I cleaned it out and I saw the roots, the root was not bigger than that. So I decided to put it here. So you don't wanna repot your paphipedalums because this is what happens. In my head, when I first started potting my paphipedalums, I saw this plant growing to be something like this. So that's flawed way of thinking because A, they're not from the same category of paphiopetalum. This is a um, brachypetalum type and this is more like a strap leaf paphiopetalum which are, is gonna be bigger. So the bigger ones could handle this like the Russeldianums, low EI hybrids, the big ones, they could do that, but not these. So, here's an example of one that I did and it was over potted. Here's an example of another one that was in this. And after repotting, it's going down to this. And here's an example of another one that I did see how not only are you wasting media if you do this but you're going to rot the roots and you don't want that and and luckily i repotted these in um what did i say april in may so they've been repotted in may so you can see that my semi hydroponic Works for some, but not on all of them. Now also, the question is, well, what kind of media are you putting in it? It's just regular 50-50 bark with um, 50 bark, 50% um, perlite. And I throw in a little bit of moss in there, not too much, but it seems to be too wet. So I'm getting rid of that. Now, what else? 
Now, I want to point out this one because I repotted this and uh, May of this year, May of 20. So, compared to this, is it still overpotted? Maybe, probably, I don't know. It doesn't have the semi hydroponic, so I don't think so, but it might. So, what I want to do is unpot it so that we can see what the roots look like. Here we go. Well, as you can see, mm, the root looks okay. It's not actively growing because I don't see a white tip. So something like this is stalling in here. And it could be that it's getting too wet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repot this. But also what I wanna do is take some of the media out to see if I find a rotted root because if I do see a rotted root then I can show you that the root has been rotted. Well, no, I did not see a rotted root but that's what the media I have it in look like. There's some lava rock in there too. So, it's stalling. It's not liking it for some reason. So what I'm gonna do is repot this, probably in a smaller container, a smaller pot, and uh, that way it does better. I'm gonna repot my pass in uh, February, March, so I'll give you guys an update on that later. So, we're gonna do another one. This one is my first Pepipedalum that I ever bought. It's a Pepipedalum Oriental Jewel. And I did repot this in 520. So this one was also giving me problems. As you can see, I did the cuttings to ventilate the media more. So let's take a look and see how this turned out. Ah. there you go see this plant is clearly not liking this so what I'm going to do is pot it into a smaller pot and what else that's pretty much what I have to say now what I want to do is the media is I saw a video where somebody said do not use them in coconut, don't put them in coconut husk, but I'm putting it in coconut husk anyway because this is going to be my experiment. Now, can you do them in lica pellets? Yes, but for some re people, they're not thriving. This is mine, it's a strap leaf pepipedalum, and it is in lica pellets and it's doing okay. So, Okay, I think that's it for my video. I We saw what the roots look like on, on these pepipedalums and clearly they're not liking it because they're being, they're over potted. So what I'm gonna do is, if you see that no growth or rotted roots in your plants, you need to downgrade the size of the pot so that they can uh, do better. And of course, not too much sunlight because you're gonna burn the leaves. Um, and uh, hope you like my video. Um, I'll give you an update back in, in January or February when I repot the rest of these and see how they're doing. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.